Hello guys, well, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be installing more carbon fiber parts for the interior of the Stormtrooper. Of course, we are sponsored by Carbon Add-ons, so they're going to be Carbon Add-ons products. Now these products, they are pretty much the only ones in the market that can provide them to you. Just because Carbon Add-ons have stepped up the game, they can create anything you send them, they'll make it carbon fiber for you. And just remember, if you wanna buy anything of these products that I'm gonna show you for my interior, you can buy them at carbonatoms.com. And also, if you wanna use the coupon code ST432, you can get a small discount for that. So like I said, it's pretty much, we're just gonna unbox it, install it, and review it. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and start with the unboxing. Simple unboxing, nothing too hard, nothing too difficult. some padding via some paper our order sheet we're also going to get a thank you letter which is something new that we didn't get the past so it's pretty good that they're growing and giving us the thank you with their Instagram and everything and a car freshener which these smell awesome if you do make a purchase make sure to get one of these but usually they'll give them free to you almost all the purchases I've made I've got one for free which is really good because they smell awesome. Okay, so the first piece is gonna be the gearbox. So for this gearbox, I do have one. It is Hydro Dip from eBay. And this is, just looks much better. You can see the grains and everything much better. It's just gonna complete the look of the middle console. And that's just something that I'm super excited of when it, start, when it came out, but I just wanted to make it into a bundle and get a lot of things, which in this case, we're getting two but they're gonna make a huge impact on our interior. So this is gonna be the star of the video. It's gonna be the cluster gauge. This cluster gauge, like I said, they these two products, in fact, no one else will have them but carbon add-ons. And this one is something that I was really, really excited about. So I decided to go ahead and get these two products because these two products will really enhance your interior. All right, so we could just go ahead and get ready to install them. So see y'all in the car. All right, guys, well, this is the piece right here without the plastic. The first thing you want to do is just make sure everything fits. For this, you are going to have to get your steering wheel to go down with this lever. Make it go down. Just make sure everything aligns how it's supposed to. And once you think it's ready enough, Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start prepping the area. How are you gonna prep it? Get a little bit of alcohol. And start cleaning the surface where it's gonna be sticking. So in this case, all right here, the inside, the outside, make sure everything looks good. That way there's a good contact with the glue. All right, so everything's clean. Now we're gonna go ahead and start peeling our 3M tape. The tape is gone. Now make sure you don't press on it right away. Make sure you still get a little bit of proper alignment. For example, right here, make sure this thing aligns. And there you go, that's gonna be the installation for that. The only thing that I see that it don't cover is gonna be this little tiny piece. I'm not sure if that's just the way I installed it, 
but that's really the only silver thing you could see apart from here but you got to look at it through an angle i'll show you my angle you can see no more silver which is good uh, this is the only thing i can point out really that it's gonna be there for me but other than that everything looks good if you can see it matches really good with the carbon fiber interior especially the wheel now the the black background of the oem cluster really complements with the black of the carbon fiber and of course all these pieces really complement together so that's going to be the cluster install it's going to be simple but now we're going to go ahead and get to the gearbox the gearbox is going to be a little bit more difficult however it's going to be a simple step that doesn't take more than five minutes and that is going to be removing our shift knob because the, the new gearbox is not going to fit with the with the shift knob on so we're going to go ahead and get to taking it off take off the old one and then take out put in the new one now if you can see this is how it's going to it looks with the hydro dipped ebay carbon fiber and then we're going to go ahead and take a look with the real carbon fiber and all right guys so this tab right here kind of loosened up just for time get like a flathead and take this piece off make sure not to lose it and right here we're going to find a t25 torque bit that we're going to have to remove so we're going to go ahead and get to that all right so correction is going to be a t20 not a t25 and it didn't i didn't even need a ratchet to be honest just been using my hand and it worked and just be careful because it is a very small piece and right this is the little screw right here so don't lose it because you kind of need it and then we're just going to pull just like that this is going to be your shift knob and now we can finally remove our plate that i moved removed already and all right guys so the only thing we got to do is prep the area and then glue in the new piece so again get yourself some alcohol Prep it, prep the area really good. And try to clean it while you're at it, because why not clean where the shift knob is. And all right guys, again, make sure you test fit. Make sure everything aligns perfectly. And again, it does. So we're gonna get to peeling off the tape. And I like this tape, it's really easy to peel once you get it started. I'm gonna go ahead and do one more pass, make sure everything is clean and ready to go. before you glue make sure everything fits and again these are going to go over these so make sure you don't glue it on the wrong side let it fall let it find its place and press down And all right, that's gonna be the installation. Old, new. Now I'm gonna go ahead and clean this shift knob and then I'm gonna go ahead and install it back up. All right guys, well the installation is complete. There you go. This is my view now. Carbon fiber, carbon fiber. This is carbon fiber, P3 gauge. And you see the black background really complements the carbon fiber there. So I really like how it gives you that feel. Now, like I said, remember through here, you can see a little bit of this. I don't know if it's my installation once again, but once you get here, everything looks perfect. And that's that. And now for the other piece, you got this right here. Let me see if I can get to focus. And you can see the grains now better than what it looked before. And of course, you got the shift knob to complement that. 
and there you go guys this is how it turned out i'm really happy with the results definitely worth my money and for sure i know they created this whole new piece all the way over here and that's gonna be a must so stay tuned for that video because i'm gonna for sure get that but i just don't know how soon or how long i'm gonna wait to do that well, there you go guys well this is all for today hope you're liking and enjoying the content i'm creating don't forget to like and subscribe it really helps a lot and hopefully we can meet my personal goal of 500 subscribers by the end of the year so don't forget to like and subscribe and see you till next time